Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're familiar with these videos, I mean, you already know this is a declutter. So, I've recently um decluttered my sample size lip glosses, lipsticks, and liquid lipsticks. And I decided to declutter my full size lip glosses. Um... I've recently been inspired <laughs> to just declutter. I really just, I, what I want to have in my collection is things that I, I love, things that I know I'm going to use and things that I do use. I don't want to have things just sitting around because I want my collection to be big and, you know, it's just, it, it takes up space and in all honesty, it gives me, it makes me anxious. Like, I just, I don't want to see so much makeup anymore. Like, I love makeup. I really do. And this is why I started this channel. But, um, I don't know. I just, I want to declutter. I just want to get rid of things. And, and I want to bring into my collection things that I'm going to hold on to. I mean, things that I love, things that I'm using, things that, that, you know, that, is, that are not going to be dust collectors. So, if you're familiar with these videos, you know that I just pour everything out into the counter. And whatever I keep, I throw back into the basket. So, this is how whatever I'm going to keep goes back into this basket. And whatever I'm going to declutter, I just leave out onto the side so I'll just grab them one by one and show you what they are and what I'm gonna keep and I don't know these declutter videos I, I love them I, I I've been inspired I've been watching a whole bunch of declutter videos um I especially love uh Lisa Stevens declutter videos I love all her videos I love her channel period but um I'll leave her channel link down below just in case anybody wants to go watch her and check out her declutter videos but um yeah without further ado let's get into this um i'll start with this wedding wild color icon lip gloss this was a limited edition as you can see it has the the top is white and it says pop on it um this is the color raised on good corals and i haven't tried it yet but it is a very pretty color, so I think I'll be holding on to this one. I don't want to let it go yet. Um, then we have this cargo. Uh, what this says. I usually date them so that I know when I got them. And it says here 817, so I'm thinking. Or 717, so I'm thinking we got this in July. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, we did. I got this in a boxy charm, and this is in the color Taos. Very pretty. And I still haven't tried it, so I'm definitely keeping this one around. Another one we got in a boxy charm. This Allegory Story lip gloss in the color Plato's Cave. Very nice brown, sort of nudie color. Definitely keeping this one around. Um, here's another Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss, the limited edition one. Um, this is in the color Strawberries and Femme. And this is like a, a, a very dull pink color, very pinkish color. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I... I don't know. I'm on the fence. I, I want to keep it, but I want to let it go. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Definitely, if I have something else in here that... Alright, I think the closest thing I have in here to this will probably be this Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, the closest thing to it. Will probably be this Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, yeah, I think I'll. I'm definitely keeping this one. I do like the formula on the Anastasia Beverly Hill um lip glosses. So, 
And this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss is in the color Dow House. So I'll keep this one and let go of this one. So let me swatch that. They smell like cake. But that's the color of that lip gloss there. It's a very pretty color, but I don't see the need to have, especially in lip gloss, to have the same color repeated so many times. Unless it's like my favorite. And I wear lip gloss, honestly, I, I wear it over um, like a matte liquid lipstick. And I'm not too fond of liquid lipstick, but I wear it under a matte, over a matte liquid, matte liquid lipstick. If I want to give the liquid lipstick some shine. So I'll definitely let go of this. And I won't... I, I'm getting rid of these. Like when once I figure out what I'm decluttering, I'm getting rid of it. I'm not keeping any... I mean, I'm not giving it away to anybody because, you know, these... I don't think it's a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, You can't... What do you call it when they... I don't know, they clean up makeup or whatever, and then they pass it on. I don't know, this is just something too too personal to, to pass on, you know, unless it was like to a, a, a real near and dear family member, but um, I wouldn't pass it on to anybody. Usually the, the lip gloss I use is this, and this is by Milani, and it's not a lip gloss, it's a lip oil, but um... I already have a backup of it because I love this lip oil. Um, coconut. This is the uh, Moisture Lock Coconut Oil Infused Lip Treatment. And it's it, it's like a lip gloss, really. It goes on like a lip gloss. And it stays on for a very long time. So, um, moving along. Uh, these Makeup Geek Foiled. Lip glosses, um, this is in the color acoustic. I'm gonna just collect all of these because I know I'm not letting go of any of these. This is in the color set list, and this is in the color mixtape. This one is in the color headliner. Um, oh, this nice, beautiful purple one here is in the color drum roll and that's it yeah that's it so i have five makeup geek uh lip glosses which i know this is what they look like which i know i'm not letting go of i'm not gonna declutter these so i might as well just get these out of the way right now we're keeping that um this la colors lip gloss lips and lipstick duo um I think I used this once in a in a video. It wasn't like a tutorial. I think it just was like a lipstick of the day or something. And this is in the color Charm. Um, honestly, I don't use this. I don't. It's a very pretty color. Very nice uh, full color. This is the lipstick. Very nice color. Almost like a purpley, purple, I don't know, purple, looks like it has like bluish undertones. Um, so that's the lipstick and this is the lip gloss. And the reason why I'm not a fan of this is because the lip gloss has glitter in it. I'm not a fan of that. Like, I don't like my lip glosses to have, I don't know if you guys can see the glitter in it. I mean, it's not an ugly combo, but I'm not into this, this glitter thing right here. So, and honestly, I haven't used this in a very long time. It smells like bubble gum. It does smell very good. And this is by LA Colors. I mean, the formula is good. It's not a drying formula. Like this, this lipstick is, is, is like a moisture. Lipstick is not a matte formula, but that lip gloss right there with the glitter I'm really not into that. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter there. 
I'm just not, I'm not going to keep it. I'm letting it go. And honestly, I'm not a fan of those duo, um, wait, this goes over here. I'm not a fan of those duo, uh, stick lip sticks, lip glosses, you know, that it has the one up here and one down here. I'm really not a fan of those. I do have a few of those here. Um, let me get one. Um, like this bare minerals, marvelous moxie. Now I love this, uh, lip gloss formula. This is so far one of my favorite lip gloss formulas um and these colors are very pretty this is in the color stunner and this is in the color rebel but i don't know i just i don't i'm, I'm gonna let this go i'm gonna declutter this because i haven't used it but i've had this for a very 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 long time so i think one of my reasons for letting it go for decluttering it is that i just had it for way too long I like it, but what I'm going to do is repurchase it. And these are like very pigmented because this is the color right here. And look at how pigmented that is. This is in the color Stunner. And then the other side is in the color Rebel. And this is Rebel. But you can tell because it's it kind of sort of separates. That's the color Rebel. It's a nice nudie sort of, I don't know, I say pink color. But um, I'm letting this go. And they smell awesome. They smell like mint. But I'm letting that go. I'm not interested in keeping it. I will repurchase. But I want them like this. I want a standalone Marvelous Moxie lip gloss. That way I don't have to purchase because this came in a set. There's more in here. But it came in a set and, you know, sometimes when you buy things in a set, you buy it for one or two things and then you're stuck with all these other things in the set that you don't want or that you're not going to use. You just know that those, there's certain things in a set that they don't sell separately, which kind of sucks sometimes. But, um, okay, moving along. This e.l.f. Um, lip gloss. It's a clear lip gloss. I'm going to keep it. That's what it looks like. It's a regular clear lip gloss. I'm going to keep that. Um, these two e.l.f. ones here, like this. These are new. I haven't tried these yet, but I am going to keep these. I don't know. I feel like letting go of one because one has like um, like a frost shine to it. Not glitter, but like a frost shine. And then the other one is, it's like plain. I don't know if you guys can see the difference there. But, yeah. I'll keep both of them. Let me see. The one is in the color bubblegum and the other one is in the color fairy. I'll keep those. Um, This, um, Manakadar. Beauty Simplified in the color Lucky. Um, yeah, I think I'm letting go of this. I've, I've had this for a very long time, and I just, I don't use it. And it's a very pretty color. But I'm, I'm going to let go of this. It smells like chemicals. It doesn't really smell like... And I don't know, like, this seems more of a... Like, look at how pigmented that is. Right here. This is it right here. Like, do you guys see that? This seems more of a, more like a liquid lipstick than it does a lip gloss, but it says it's a lip gloss. So, I guess it's a lip gloss. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't want that. I'm going to let go of that. My Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, I know I'm not letting go of any of these, so I might as well just pick them all up and put them away. Put them in the keep pile because I know I'm not letting go of any of these. So these are the shades that I have in Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I have the color Neon Apple, Maui. Bronze lip gloss and Bordeaux. 
I picked these up in the sale that they had when they were selling these for eight bucks. Also had them for eight dollars. Sephora had them for eight dollars, and I think they're currently still on the Sephora website. I think I'm not sure, but um, I'm definitely keeping these. Um, my two Mac Vamplify lip glosses. I'm definitely keeping these. I have. One is in the color Modern, Modern Drama, and this is Modern Drama. And the other one is in the color Fab Tested, so I'm definitely keeping these. This is such a pretty nudie color, but I'm definitely keeping that. Um, okay, so then I have this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the color Fairy Floss. I'm definitely keeping this, and I think I have one more which is in the color Piranha, and I'll be keeping that. So this is what they look like. One is more nudey. This one is like a a very um, milky pink color, and this is more of a nudey color, and this is Piranha, I think. No, this is Fairy Floss. This is Piranha. But I'll be keeping both of these. Um... Yeah, I'll keep these. Then I have this one. This, again, one of these Wet n Wild Color Icon lip glosses. And since this is so close to the color um, Piranha, they're almost the same. It makes no sense to have both of these. So I'm going to let go of Wet n Wild. These Wet n Wild ones, they're good. But they... I don't know. See, this one is very, this is like a very milky pink color right here. This is the Wet n Wild one. Almost looks white. It doesn't even look like a milky pink. I mean, on me, on my skin tone, it looks white. But, um, and they smell like cake. But I'm going to let go of this. This is almost the same as that ColourPop one. And I just don't feel the need to have two of them. So... I'll be letting go of this. I mean, the formula of this is kind of... It is sticky, but... I guess... I don't know. It, it, it depends on what you like. Because I know people who do like sticky lip glosses. And then I know people who don't like sticky lip glosses. I don't like them to be too, too sticky. But I do like a good lip gloss. Uh, you know, something that it, it glides on. But it's still there. You know, like it just doesn't just disappear. You lick your lips once or twice and the lip gloss is gone. Um, Moving along. Here's another one of those uh, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxies. And this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful combo. Um, But this side right here is in the color Spark Plug. And then this side right here, this side right here is in the color Charmer. But... Again, it's one of these dual thingies that I'm not a fan of, and I'm going to be letting this go. They smell so good. And again, this is... I love this formula. Like, I think this formula... Look at that color right there. That's such a pretty color, this one right here. That's such a pretty lip gloss. This is definitely one of those lip glosses that I will repurchase. Spark plug, hopefully they still have it. Because, you know, makeup companies nowadays, they're pushing so many things out there that they discontinue something quickly like something will come out it's out for two or three months and then they discontinue it and this is in the color i think this is charmer and that's charmer right there see charmer is it doesn't look white like it, it does on my skin tone obviously it does look white but like on my lips over something it doesn't look bad and i like that so i probably will repurchase that one but I'm going to be letting go of this. I've had this for a very long time. And I'm, again, I'm not a fan of these duo things. I just, I don't want it. Um, This one right here in the color, this is another one of those Wet n Wild ones. And this is in the color Violet in Furs. Um, let me see. I do have this one that, I don't know. Let me see. I don't have anything like this here in that I've kept. And 
I don't know. I'll keep it because I don't have anything like this. And that is a very pretty color. And we're going into fall. And I'll be definitely... My burgundies and my purples definitely will get used in the fall. So I'll keep that one. Um, This Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the color Socialite. I think I have another one in here. Nice burgundy color. Uh, this one is in the color Dominatrix. I just recently purchased these. Um, they came with two lipsticks. It was a set. The two lip glosses and the two lipsticks are exactly the same color as the lip glosses. Um, I purchased this off the Holt Look website. And this was very recent. I think I got this. Let me see. Yeah, I got this in July. So I'm not letting go of these because these are new and... I want. I haven't given them a try yet, so I'll be keeping these. Okay. Um. This wet and wild one. In the color. Very well red. Um. I'm gonna keep this just because the only other red one I have in here is this Anastasia Beverly Hills. They're not the same exact red, but I just want to have. Something of another brand, but the same color. So I'll I'm gonna keep this wet and wild one. Um, this Hakari in the color Merlot. This is a very pretty lip gloss. It really is, but I don't reach for it. Ugh, and I don't like the way that it smells. But it's very pretty. Again, this is one of those. There it is right there. Very pretty nice fall color. Again, this is one of those colors that... One of these lip glosses that is... It's marketed as a lip gloss. It says it's a lip gloss, but that's highly pigmented right there. It reminds me of that Manica Dar. So, but I'm not keeping that. I'm going to let go of that. I've had this for a very long time, and I'm just letting go of that. And then this one... This is a very pretty color as well, this Noya, in the color Malbec. I don't even remember. This The packaging on this thing is awesome. Look at that. I would keep it for the packaging alone, but I don't want to have things just lying around because the packaging is cute, unless the packaging is, is like something that I'm displaying. I'm not really displaying this. This is just sitting in one of my... Let me swatch that for you. Again, this is one of those... Wow, maybe I should keep this. This is one of those lip glosses that is highly pigmented. Um, it doesn't really have a scent. But it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell chemically. That, um... What was it? That Hakari right here? It smells like chemicals. And so does this man of Hadar. Like, they smell very chemically. Like, they have a lot of chemicals in them. Um, I'm going to let go of this. I don't want this. So, I'll be letting go of that Noya. Um, this e.l.f. lip gloss in the color Brian. Um, this is like a pinky. It's like pink, but it's not like a bright pink. It's like a, a nice nudey pink color. I think I'll hold on to this for a little longer. Um, yeah, I'll hold on to that. Here, again, here's another Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. I love this formula right here. I just, um, again, I'm not a fan of this double-ended uh, thing here. And I'm not letting it go just because it's a double-ended thing. I just, I've had these for a while. And I, I'm going to, honestly, I'll repurchase these. And repurchase the colors that I know I'm going to use. I have six colors here. And I think of the six I've used... Oh, I think this is the color that I like. Show off. Let's see. This is the color show off. Yeah, it has like a very frost. Frosty. But not too frosty. But it has like a nice shine to it. And then the other one in this combo is called Hot Shot. Again, I love the way this smells. They smell so good. They smell like mint. Let me put this one right here. 
this is a very pretty lip gloss i like that one i definitely do like that one but if i repurchase i can repurchase them in their own tube and not this double tube thing it was a set i think it was like a christmas set or something but i don't use them um mainly because it's a double i mean i use them but i don't use them like i don't take one of these throw it in my purse and say oh you know just in case i i, I just if i'm gonna throw something in my purse i'll throw one of these a single lip gloss i'm not a fan of these so i'm, I'm gonna let, let that go and then this um another wet and wild color icon lip gloss in the color lilac theater i'm not even gonna open and swatch that because this one is brand new this one at least i can give it to somebody but it is like a very lilac it is a lilac light purple color so or like a lavender but i'm not even gonna open it somebody might get some use of this um because these aren't old they're not even a year old so i'll definitely keep this one and give it away but i'm not gonna keep it in my collection like i don't want it for myself so i'll definitely let go of that and then i got this wet and wild lip gloss it's the mega slicks in the color sun glaze and this one is also brand new but i'll be keeping this one this one i bought it for the summer but i didn't even use it you see that but i will keep it just in case i do use it and that is it so all right i i don't know i won't say that i mean i thought i'd get rid of more but i got rid of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if I got rid of 10 lip glosses altogether, I think I had 36. So there's still 26 in here, but a lot of the ones in here are new. I haven't used yet. And these I know I'm not using. So this is what I got rid of. I mean, I think I did pretty good. I mean, I think I did okay. <laughs> you know? So, and I kept these. See, this right here speaks to me. I see this. This speaks to me. These right here, I like them. It does speak to me, but they've been in my collection for a very long time, and I haven't really used them. So, yeah, I'm letting all of these go. And this is what I'm keeping. So, I had a total of 36. Got rid of 10. That leaves me with 26. And that's it. So, yeah, this completes this video. Um... Remember to be kind, cost nothing means a million to someone, anyone, guaranteed. And in this time of need, um, you know, I think that kindness will go a very, very long way to someone. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.